Do you remember the name of Allah al Ghaffar? It comes from the word Ghaffara and it means to cover, hide, protect, and forgive. And we said Allah is the one that covers, hides, protects, and forgives all our sins and faults over and over again. Al Ghafur also comes from the same root word Ghafara and also means to cover, protect, and forgive. But al ghafar is in reference to the quantity of forgiveness, meaning whether you committed one sin or a lot of sins, al ghafar forgives over and over again. al ghafur on the other hand, is in reference to the quality of forgiveness, meaning it doesn't matter how big or small your sin is, it is easy for al ghafur to forgive it. With these two names in mind, we should never lose hope. Allah still gives us the opportunity to ask for forgiveness no matter how many times you committed wrongs and regardless of how big or small they are. How should we live by this name? 1. We should learn how to seek forgiveness the right way. It all starts with the heart. We should reflect on ourselves and our deeds so that we become aware of the mistakes we made and what we need to do to get better. We should feel deep regret of what we have done. We should have a firm intention never to do it again. Give people their rights back if we have wronged them. If we have stolen something, we should return it. If we have hurt someone, we should seek their forgiveness. Give Allah his rights. If we have missed prayers or missed some fasting days, we should repeat the ones we missed. We should forgive others if they have wronged us even before they seek our forgiveness. We should do daily du'as seeking forgiveness. One can say Astaghfirullah at least 70 times a day. 2. Be sincere in all our actions. Speak the truth, perform good deeds and stay away from dishonesty because according to a narration from the Holy Prophet, these are signs of one who is repentant.